Johnny. Hmm? What it is a yet? A yet? Oh, no, honey, that's uh, a word, yet. It means uh, still, uh, also, continuing. Oh, it is not part of a body? No, no. Well, this article here, it says, woman shot five years ago, bullet in her yet. <laughs> Johnson's Wax, makers of Raid House and Garden Bug Killer. Raid hunts bugs down like radar and kills them dead. Hello, this is Everett Bug with a warning about Raid House and Garden Bug Killer, a menace to all peace-loving bugs, indoors and out. Raid hunts bugs down like radar and kills them dead. Remember that name, it's Raid! Created by Johnson's Wax. America's largest selling insecticide. I bet 10 cents. Mm, too rich for me. Mm, me too. I just raised that 10. Mm, it's up to you, honey. You are bluffing. Am I? Yes. Aren't you? <laughs> nope. I have a full house. Oh, well, now I know you are bluffing. I call. Three queens. What have you got? A full house. <laughs> oh, well, that is not fair. You said you were bluffing. You said I was bluffing. I said I had a full house. Yes, but you said that because you knew I wouldn't believe it. The worst kind of liar is one who tells the truth. Uh, temper, temper, remember? What's she doing? Well, I told her whenever she feels like blowing her top to count to ten. How's it work? Then you are very <laughs> Now, if you do that anymore, I will never play with you again. That's how it works. <laughs> Thank you. For the generous contribution, my dear. You'll be glad to know this money will be used to buy food and warm clothes for needy me. <laughs> Stop teasing her. I can't help it. Annie's so cute when she loses her temper. Mm. When I lose my temper, he thinks I'm miserable. <laughs> Honey, that isn't true. Losing your temper has nothing to do with it. <laughs> well. I think we ought to call it a night. I, uh, I have to get up early in the morning. So do I. Susie, you get up early? Yes, I'm going to an auction. Really? Oh, it's a new kick, antiques. Oh, antique, I have an antique. My club there is a real antique. I will show you. It seems a couple guys at the office belong to this collector's club, and Susie thought collecting antiques would be a perfect hobby for her because it's so expensive. <laughs> it is. Oh. It this club belongs to Napoleon. To Napoleon? Really? Yes. He once took shelter in the farmhouse of my great-great-grandfather. And Napoleon wished to pay him. But my great-great-grandfather, he was a true Frenchman. And he asked Napoleon for only one thing. Josephine's phone number. <laughs> no. That Bonaparte bring victory to France. And later, this club was delivered by a royal messenger. And it has been passed down to each generation. That's true. It's uh, very valuable now. Honey, show them what's written on the bottom there. Hmm. Hmm. Made in Japan. <laughs> what do you mean, made in Japan? It is signed by Napoleon himself. You cannot even uh, read what... Honey, honey, easy does it. Easy does not does it with me. <laughs> it is an insult to my great-great-grandfather, to my great-grandfather, to my grandfather, to my father, and to me. <laughs> Only my George could get that kind of mileage out of one insult. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Annie. I was only kidding you. In fact, I'd like to bring some of the fellas from the Collectors Club around to see it. May I? Uh, of course. Oh, I don't know what's the matter with me. I always let my top blow off. <laughs> Come on, doll. I've got to get some sleep. When I walk into that antique auction tomorrow, I don't want anybody bidding on me. <laughs> We're still friends, aren't we, Annie? Of course. I know you are teasing me. Oh, but you do believe me about my clock. Oh, sure. I knew that was a Napoleon clock the minute I looked at it. How? One of the hands is like this. <laughs> oh, you are making fun again, Theo. You are. Uh, oh, one, two, three, four. Can't you ever quit when you're ahead? I don't know. I've never been ahead. <laughs> Good night, all. Good night, Jerry. Good night, Anne. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for all your money. Yeah, that's all right. I'll catch you up to Next you. Next week, okay. Yeah, yeah. you're out. Don't forget. Yeah. Yeah. You are angry with me because I lose my temper? <laughs> well, I promise I will never do it again. And when was the last time you promised that? This morning. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny, I will try, honestly. No matter what will happen, I will smile and say nothing. Well, I hope so. What's on your schedule for tomorrow? Anything dangerous? I mean, from a temper point of view? Oh, no, nothing at all. I'm going to stay home and work in the garden. Oh, wait a minute. The gardener comes tomorrow, doesn't he? Oh, I get along fine with Mr. Sato. All we ever say, I say good morning to him, he bow, and say good morning to me. Oh! <laughs> Heck! <laughs> Morning. Morning. Um, I, I'm thinking of changing things around a little here. Ah, so? We, we will transfer these from this bed and put them around in the back. Hmm? And here, I'm going to have an herb garden. Very nice. So we will have tarragon, sedge, dill, chervil, and rosemary. Ah, rosemary. Big girl now. <laughs> Thank you. You do not understand what I'm talking about. Big girl now. Oh, look, Mr. Sato. See? See this? Hmm? See? Hmm? We put in here. Huh? Oh, so sorry, please, no. No guru in the paper. Take out the seeds, more better. Yeah. <laughs> well, never mind. Mm, I I'll do it myself. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah th thank you just the same. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh, 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 excuse, please. Mm. Yes? You don't do, please. Oh, oh, you will do it? Oh, fine, fine. Here, thank you. <laughs> what, what, what are you... I don't want them there. I want them pulled out. Grow more better when you keep in the ground. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll take care of it, huh? Yes. You go back to what you were doing. Hmm? You reave the prance? Reave the prance? No, no. You reave the prance? Reave the prance. No, no. <laughs> oh, I leave the plants. <laughs> That's what I say. Leave the prance. You leave them? No, I won't leave them. I take care. You go inside. I want a nap garden here. Mr. Smith want Ryrax. So I plant Ryrax. Never mind me. 
eat this meat. I say to take all these brands. Brands! No, thank you, please. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, twelve, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah, my son teach me. He goes, he goes, UCRA. Look, Mr. Seiko, I want these plants there, back in there. Mr. Smith say so? Okay. How can you be so stubborn? Si vous ne faites pas ce que je vous dis, moi je prends un autre jardinier, compris? Ça t'es beau, mais encore une fois, je veux des plantes, des plantes, des plantes. I was just telling Mr. Seto what I would like to have in in the garden. It sounded a little more like you wanted to plant Mr. Sato. <laughs> Honey, I thought you were really going to try this time. Oh, I do try, Johnny. Honestly, he would not do what I say. I told him I want a nerve garden here, but he said, no, I cannot have a, a nerve garden here. Oh, where is it? Oh, where is it? got a sprinkler system out here for watering. Holy cat. Honey, really, this time I think I was right. He would not do what I say. Honey, it doesn't matter who was right or wrong. Losing your temper doesn't solve the problem. It's childish, immature. It shows a complete lack of character. You will give me one more chance, Jimmy. <laughs> What's the use? It's evidently something you just can't help, honey. Well, I, I will show you I can help. Yeah, for one whole month, I will not lose my temper. I, I will be nice. I will agree with everybody. You agree with everybody? <laughs> That's a laugh. I, I agree it's a laugh. See, I'm starting already. <laughs> and I will keep it for one whole month. Oh, well, we'll see. <laughs> I know. I'll go and go here. I'm a dust cloth. For years I just pushed the dust around but didn't get anywhere. Till I met Pledge. Now I'm getting somewhere. Of course, dusting does get you somewhere when you use Pledge, because Pledge gives you waxed beauty instantly as you dust. Just spray and dust. Pledge cleans and waxes as you dust, picks up dirt, smudges, fingerprints, puts down this real wax shine that dries instantly. Or spray cloth first, then dust. Pledge cleans and waxes as you dust. Use Pledge on porcelain, plastic, practically anything dustable. Pledge and your dust cloth belong together. Together we're great. Get Johnson's Pledge for waxed beauty instantly as you dust. Have a cup of coffee? It's great this morning. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Is she still on it? George, it's sickening. <laughs> For two weeks now, it's been yet nothing but yes, Johnny, okay, Johnny, I agree, Johnny. I tell you, I can't get an argument out of her. I simply don't believe it. Oh, you have no idea what she's been like. All I have to do is snap my fingers if I want anything. Yes, Ali? <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, I'm sorry. Angel, do you call this coffee? Oui? What do you call it? I call it dishwater. All right. That's what I will call it then. 
Uh, what would you like for your breakfast, darling? Well, anything you want to fix. Well, I will fix you anything you want me to fix. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, just fix me a couple of cockatoo eggs. <laughs> cockatoo eggs? Yes, cockatoo eggs. From a black-billed cockatoo. <laughs> Fried or scrambled? <laughs> Never mind, just fix me some toast. Toast. Oh, a white, fry, whole wheat, pepper, ninkle, Dutch, crunch, white, raisin. White, white is fine. White. And would you like jam, jelly, marmalade, apple sauce, Just some jam. Jam. A blackberry, strawberry, white Doesn't matter. Any kind. Any kind. And how would you like your cockatoo egg? I don't want any cockatoo eggs. Would you like another cup of dish water? No. No. Thank you. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. Fine. <laughs> You'll get it. No. You get it. If you want me to get it, I'd be glad to get it. I've got an idea. Nobody get it. It's going to ring. Oh, that's a good idea. We just let it ring. Oh, this is ridiculous. Come in. Good morning, sir or madam. My name is Melvin Jerome. I, I am your smiling sparkle sweeper salesman. I have here... I'm sorry, I old... don't need one. Oh, maybe she needs one? That's right. Maybe I do. No, she doesn't. No, I don't. <laughs> I think she does. <laughs> All right, just get it over with. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Uh, sparkle, uh... <laughs> Good morning, sir or madam. My name is Melvin Jerome. I am your smiling sparkle sweeper salesman. I have here the biggest boon to the busy housewife ever invented. The Sparkle Sweeper will clean basements, attics, chimneys, halls, and porches without the aid of any soap or detergent. Now, you ask me, how is that possible? How is that possible? <laughs> I, I didn't really want you to ask. Oh, oh, I am sorry. You, you go ahead, please. Um, Spark, uh... uh Good morning, sir or madam. My name is Melvin Jerome. I am your smiling sparkle sweeper salesman. I have here the biggest boon to the busy housewife ever invented. The, the, the sparkle sweeper will clean basements, attics, chimneys, halls, and floors without the Did aid you of... you say without, basements? Without, without, without... <laughs> Too? That's marvelous. What else does it clean? Uh... <laughs> Good morning, morning, sir or madam. My name is Melvin Jerome. I am your smiling, I am your smile, smiling sparkle sweeper salesman. That is enough. My name is John Smith, and I am her scowling, starving husband. Oh, you must be starving. Oh, he had not had his breakfast yet. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Maybe I'd better come back some other time. Yes, maybe that would be better. <laughs> I, I must say that you are the most agreeable person I've ever met. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss... Uh, oh, what was your name again? <laughs> Jerome. I am your smiling spy. I was, I, I was just leaving. You have your breakfast ready in two shakes of one jiffy, darling. Actually, 
How much longer is this nonsense going to continue? What nonsense? Look, either you return and start acting like a normal hothead again, or I'm going to blow my top. Just come to ten, sweetheart. <laughs> She's doing it out of spite. She's doing it to get back at me. Now, take it easy. Don't let her get you down. Get me down? Look, I married a girl that used to bubble, and that had spirit and effervescence. I got used to a Niagara Falls, and now all I got is a leaky faucet. <laughs> hey, you know how Annie feels about that clock. Yeah, sure. What? what would she do if you sold it? Sold it? Well, let's put it this way. If she thought you sold it. Oh, 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 that's lovely. <laughs> Just lovely. Shall I get it? Please do. I'm too tired for another one of those routines. <laughs> Hello, Annie? Susie, look, I know John is in the room, so don't say a word. Just listen. It's very important. I just found out that he and George are cooking up a scheme to make you lose your temper. Old Blabbermouth couldn't keep it to himself. <laughs> Any moment now. A friend of George's from the office is going to come over to look at your Napoleon clock. And Johnny's going to pretend to sell it to him. Naturally, you'll know what to do. Bye. <laughs> Who was that? Wrong number. <laughs> wrong number? Uh, wrong John Smith. Oh, that again. <clears throat> I'll, um, I'll get it. I wonder who that could be. Oh, probably one of the neighbors complaining about the quiet around here. <laughs> Mr. Smith? Yes, come right on in. Come right on in. <laughs> I'm uh, Mr. Danby, a friend of George Carpenter. Yes, yes. And uh, he told me that you had an antique Napoleon clock. That's I... right. It's right over, over, over here. <laughs> oh, this is Mrs. Smith, uh, Mr. Danby. Uh, how do you do? Uh, you. May I? Oh, please do. Oh, that's beautiful. Wonderful. But you're, um... Not thinking of selling it, are you? Oh, no. <laughs> well, I don't know. What were you thinking of offering, Mr. Dandy? Johnny! You know we will not sell the clock to Mr. Danby, no matter how much Mr. Danby will offer. It might be interesting to know what it's worth. After all, every man has his price. I mean, he might offer something that we couldn't possibly refuse, like uh, $200. Ah, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, uh... I'll offer it. Did you hear that, honey? Now, you're not going to get sentimental about an old clock just because it's been in your family a few generations? An old clock that once belonged to Napoleon? A losing general? <laughs> well, well, I must admit that you are right. <laughs> yeah. Napoleon did, like you say, make a boo-boo at Waterloo. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> this is going to go right on the shelf next to my Paul Revere saddle. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> oh, now, Johnny. I know we did not really sell the clock. This was a trick of you to make me lose my temper. How did you know? Feminine intuition. Uh, John, oh, Annie, John, I want you to meet someone who's just dying to take a look at that Napoleon clock of yours. Uh, shake hands with Tom Wilson. George. George, did you, did you just send somebody else over here? How do you do? No. Do you know a Mr. Danby? Yeah, I told him about it some time ago. Was he here? <laughs> I just sold him the clock. Oh, no. I guess we goofed. <laughs> you mean the man who bought the clock was not acting with your well, tweak? Honey, it was an accident. You I mean, stole I no the clock that... for me? Honey... How could you do such a thing? My beautiful clock is <laughs> Oh, honey, welcome. 
welcome home. <laughs> This is Herman, snooping his pup in the USA. <coughs> Nothing can get him off the trail. Nothing except... Gravy train! What's so special about New Gaines Gravy Train? Gravy. It's the world's only dog food that makes its own gravy right in the bowl. Watch. You add warm water. Stir a minute. And there's your gravy. Looks like beef stew, doesn't it? Crunchy chunks in warm, tasty gravy. Gravy train. What nourishment. 22 vitamins and minerals and 10 different proteins in every chunk. A complete balanced diet. Just what you'd expect from Gaines. The people who know what dogs need and what dogs like. Mmm, that beef tasty flavor. Get new gravy train for your dog. <coughs> gravy train. Makes its own gravy. Honey, I got it back. Oh, Tanya, I'm so happy. Well, oh, thank you. It took a lot of talking and a $20 bill, but it was worth it. Luckily, George was his boss. Oh, give it to me. Let me hold him. Oh, my beautiful glove. Now, wait a minute. You know, it's not yours anymore. What? Well, I'm the one who bought it back. It's mine now. Oh, no, it is mine. You cannot do this to me. It is not you. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Oh, oh, Johnny, Johnny, I promise I will no, never... Oh, Angel. I, I, I promise I, I will not promise not to lose my temper again. I promise I'll never try to change you. I love you just the way you are. She needs off. It's the mosquito repellent that really works. And here's proof. Look at those hungry mosquitoes go for this research man's arm. Now, a quick application of off. And look, they don't bite. They don't even light. Yes, with off insect repellent, they don't bite. They don't even light. So get OFF, off, the insect repellent that really works. <laughs> Angel has been brought to you by Johnson's Wax, makers of the mosquito repellent that keeps on working for hours. Off insect repellent. Miss Danny Thomas and all his family Monday nights over most of these same stations. <laughs>